he will stop me. On May 4th, 2002, my mother and I was like this. I traveled with her everywhere. She was a jurisdictional supervisor of the Church of God in Christ. What do you mean? The devil thought, I got a now. But this is her heart. I have a now. May 4th, exactly three months ago, I understand why God gave me this word. Because he knew that this would be the word that would minister to my spirit. What am I trying to tell you? No matter what the devil sets you up for, you got to look the devil in the eye and say, destiny can't stop here. In other words, where I am, I got to keep doing As Philippians chapter 4, it says chapter 3, it says I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling. I got to press, I got to push through my pain, I got to push through my trial, I got to push through my brokenness. I gotta show you what happens. For my mama's sake. For my mama's sake. For my mama's sake. Come here, Darius. Here's your mama's sake. Stand right here, Pastor. For my mama's sake. This is your path to go through. My destiny is to get over to the organ. These people represent my situation. They represent my circumstances. They represent my affairs. They come in all different sizes and all different shapes. The thing about me on my way through and look at what I have to go through. It's called the process. The process, the steps taken to get to a goal. We're all in the process. The steps taken to see our Father. The steps we have to go through to get to where God is. These are our circumstances in our situations turn and face me I am now faced with my situations and right where I stand I can't even see my destiny but I know on the inside of me I gotta get there whether it was by dream whether it's by prophetic word most of us have already seen where God is trying to take you you've seen a little bit then he brings you back to reality said now live it See, the problem with us 
as a people, we're looking for a prophetic word. But after you get through shouting, speaking in tongues, and falling out over the prophetic word, you got to get up and live it. You want to rejoice? Oh, I got a, oh God, I got a prophetic word. Sis, pinch yourself. Brother, pinch yourself. You got to live it to get there. These are the things through. The things I have to go through to get to destiny, my ultimate outcome. Sometimes taking the steps, I get to a thing and get blocked. I'm trying to get around it. Seems like everywhere I turn is with me. The more I pray, oh Lord, the more it's still sticking with me. Hey, God is helping you today. And you get to a place, and some of you get to the place that you just want to say, I give up. I can't take no more. Some of you right there I cannot take any more. But down on the inside, purpose keep bubbling. Still feel that call and pulling you. Feel, you still feel that anointing turning it over, turning in you. You must up enough strength to get past it. The problem with church, what we got? Get the shot, and I made it, but when you turn around. We want to rest after a victory. And the devil is still trying to stop you. Here I am faced with another thing, another circumstance. Trying to get to my destiny, oh my God. is bigger than I am, stronger than I am, wider than I am. But I hear the scripture say I can do all things. Through Christ. Which strengthens me. We want to feel like, oh, that's it. Church feel the anointing of God. Speaking in tongues. Shouting and rejoicing. Around the corner, another thing. If it's not one thing, if it's not two, it's ten more. This is my brother. So sometimes things seem like they overtake you. They weigh you down. Strength is about gone. Don't even feel like praying. You become weary. What do you mean by weary? To be worn out in strength. To be worn out in energy. To be worn out in freshness. To be completely exhausted. The enemy wants to wear you. Scripture says, and be not weary in well doing. For in due season shall reap if you faint not. You can't faint. What do you mean by faint? Means to lose consciousness or awareness to what's going on around you. 
God said in Luke 18 and 1, men ought to always to pray and not faint. You cannot lose consciousness to the snares and the traps of the enemy. That's why you must pray or you will faint. Things. Things. Everywhere I go. Things. Circumstances. Situations. Are wearing me like my clothes. This is my fine husband. That wear me. Like my clothes. Things. Thought I had gotten through this. But it looks like the same thing again. Things. Things. God, I can make it. Things. I gotta get to my destiny. Feel like throwing in the towel. Every time I try to explain to people, they just don't understand. They just knew what I was feeling. If they just knew what I was going through. If I just could put it in words, have you felt like I just couldn't put it in words? So if I tell them they'll look at me crazy, they think I'm losing my mind. The problem is, I hear destiny calling me. I hear destiny calling my name. And I can't allow these things to cause me to throw in the towel. But I heard the scriptures say that I am more than a conqueror. Believe love God. More than a conqueror. I've overcome some things that seem like I was able to, wasn't too much able to handle. Now I come to a thing that look like I can handle this thing. But this thing got me that I can't move forward. wrapped up and tied up. All I'm doing is standing still now. I can't even move. Oh Lord, you want to have to get me out of this. How did I get in here? All I was doing was being a friend. How did I get it wrapped up?
Christ.